inside the box of rock today with my good friend, Grammy Award winner. Oh my gosh, the one and only Lizzie Hale. It is so awesome to see you. You look so beautiful. Oh, thank you. Is that just trying to keep warm now? Just trying to keep yeah. warm in Jersey. <laughs> So cold outside. Yeah, it is. It is. So we've got you in Jersey for a night. We're super excited. Wow, I'll tell you, it has been a whirlwind, and we've been waiting for this new record. So I got a couple of questions that I wanted to ask you. Tell me a little bit about the recording of it. I know it's pretty much almost in the can, and you were saying maybe very end of the year or early in 2015. That's what we're we're looking at. We're actually arguing over that this week. So I should have an answer by Monday, um, as far as when we can actually release the record. Um, it's it's funny because uh, we just we've had such a great time making this record we uh we totally threw everything that um uh that we thought was normal on our last two records away we uh, didn't do it in la we ended up doing it in nashville which is so interesting to me um that you went out to nashville and just um i guess had every like preconceived notion about making a record sort of threw it out the window thinks, right? every, everybody thinks we're doing a country record we're not. Um, I don't have the twang in my voice. I don't think that would be possible. But, um, but man, I'll tell you what. Uh, Nashville is such a cool town, and it's actually it's so much more rock and roll or oriented than a lot of uh, than a lot of cities around the country anymore. And um, they've kind of welcomed us with open arms there. It's such a crazy community. But, um, but anyway, the other thing that we did differently, um, besides doing it in a different uh, town, also a different producer, um, we worked with Jay Joyce, and uh, and we also recorded it differently. Uh, we haven't recorded like this since we were. Teenagers, um, we were all four of us in the same room, recorded all the basic tracks to live to tape. So, and then all the and you know all the vocal performances are are live too, beginning to end. Nothing was cut up, um, and uh, it was really cool. It also was very hard to do because you'd think that'd be like just a real simple, oh yeah, just go in and play. But it's like to get everybody to ride on that same wave. Um, we made some magic happen. So I'm, I'm so stoked. Well, I think that's an amazing way for you guys to do it because the power of the live band, you know, Hailstorm Live is so powerful. So I would imagine doing it that way, um, a lot of that live performance feel is probably going to be on this record. Absolutely. And that was a goal that we set out to do. And uh, Jay Joyce was uh, ballsy enough to actually take it on. And uh, it's just amazing to hear all the excitement in these new songs and and um, I remember turning to the guys and I said I don't think I've ever heard you know us this way you know what I mean They're short of doing a live record and um, we experimented a lot we're also uh, people always ask you know okay so it's your third record so did you stray from like who you are and like everything and I and I always I've been telling them like no actually it's now a lot more of who we are so be prepared I'm warning you right now it's it's very unapologetic and just you know, warts and all us. So. Well, times have changed so much too since the first record, and I read somewhere that you guys really took a lot of inspiration from social media for this record, yeah. um, especially uh, for myself, um, which uh, I, man, it's it's getting kind of addicting to me. Uh, just being able to talk with everybody so freely, and uh, well, you've always been a band of the fans. People always feel that connection with you. Um, this show that we're out at sold out very very quickly. And the fans are just like, Hailstorm, Hailstorm. They, it, it, not an album cycle. You guys are not coming off an album cycle. We couldn't even have a record out. Right. <laughs> so a band of the fans. So that doesn't necessarily surprise me as the next step, considering how prevalent social media is in everybody's life. Oh, absolutely. It's, it's become the norm. And uh, I, I have to tell you, I've, like, I've gotten so um, emotional over uh, two instances with some of our are super fans and and they're crazy in such a good way but um a few months ago while we were writing for this next record uh they took it upon themselves to make this like 20 minute video and it was a what hailstorm means to me wow. video and it made me cry um you know I'm, i took it to the gym and i'm like watching it as i'm like on the treadmill i'm like and i'm like they must think i'm crazy over here because i'm just crying but um and then two nights ago um a bunch of them um i'm gonna get emotional about this now uh took it upon themselves to write us a song oh, so all amazing. all of these you know girls and and boys that have come to so many different shows wrote us a song called dear hailstorm and every time they would like all get into the chorus they played a guitar and sang it to us the other night i'm like this is just amazing so um a lot of the stories and a lot of the things that i've been able to uh, talk with them about and their lives and things that they had going on um, really did leach their way into you know our songs because let's be honest like I I don't everyone thinks I live a very exciting life you know 
come on. <laughs> it's, it's a rock show every day. I love it. Don't get me wrong. But it was just so much more interesting to, to write about these people. And so um, hopefully they can see themselves in this new record. Oh, I, 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 I can kind of feel that already. I Like It Heavy is a tune that we've been getting a little bit of the live performance on. So obviously that's going to be probably a first single from the record. Um, I, I'm not sure that it's going to be the, the first single. Um, again, that's something we're arguing about this week. <laughs> it's like, like if we had just done an interview tomorrow no um but uh but uh that that song kind of came in 11th hour and that's kind of it was just it was a very funny song um uh to write and we kind of went back to a lot of our classic roots with that one um we'll be sneaking in two songs tonight for you guys one is called mayhem and the other one i like it heavy so. awesome awesome um so we're so excited about a new record so excited to see you again and let me ask you before i let you go do you remember the very first hailstorm gig what was it how old were you and where was it the very first time we ever took a stage uh, under the name Hailstorm um, was literally, I think, the first time that we ever stepped outside of our parents' living room. And it was uh, summer of 97. Um, I was 13 at the time. My little brother was 10 or 11. And uh, I think he was 10. And uh, we had written one song between us um, called Love is Power. And uh, we ended ourselves in the Schuylkill County Fair talent show. <laughs> And uh, we ended up winning third place, but we lost to the tap dancing cowgirl. <laughs> it was much cuter than everybody was. loses to the tap dancing cowgirl. They're just adorable. You can't compete. Um, but it, it was like kind of like a five minute song with a drum solo in the middle of it because my little brother has always been good. Um, I've had to work very hard to be decent at what I do, and RJ just wakes up and just does it. I'm like, ooh. Um, but uh, love you, little bro. But uh, but yeah, that was a. Uh, Man, was that like 17 years ago? Something like that. So yeah, we had tunnel vision after that, and thankfully we had very cool parents that were. And the legend was born, Lizzie. It's always a pleasure. Thank you so much, my dear. Love you. Love you.